Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. So as you can clearly see, my hair does not look the greatest right now and that is because um, I washed my hair and I was letting it air dry a little bit. Um, I had it in a like towel, let it dry a little bit um, because I'm going to be straightening my hair or blow drying straight my hair with the Ion Lux 4-in-1 Air Styler. If you watched my last hair video, I did test out the Ion Lux 4-in-1 Hair Styler on my curly hair and I used a diffuser attachment because, you know, the blow dryer is getting so much hype for, you know, the barrels and like, um, kind of that's like the Dyson Airwrap like dupe type of thing. Um, but no one was giving it hype for the diffuser, which, by the way, if you haven't watched that video, go watch it. So today I'll be using her with just like the regular focused blow dryer attachment and we'll see how well it blow dries my hair straight. And I will also be using the barrels, the infamous barrels, to see how well it curls my hair as well. So bit of a confession, I did try this once already to blow dry my hair and the only reason why I did it once before getting on camera to film this is because it has been about four years since I blow dried my hair straight with just a blow dryer and a like a regular blow drying brush. So I needed to get the hang of it before I got on here and made a like five hour long video. So I think I know what I have to do, um, but I have not tried the barrels. So we're going to see how that works together. So before we get started, hit that subscribe button right now if you're not subscribed and hit that notification bell so you always know when I post. Follow me on socials, which I will leave down in the description box as always, because when I'm not here, I am there. And without further ado, let's get into it okay so first things first like i said my hair is just a little bit damp um i let it air dry in a towel for uh, i want to say like about an hour so basically i'm just going to start off by sectioning my hair and the first time when i blow dry my hair i split it into four sections and then split those sections into two and that's how I was able to blow dry it but then I felt like I didn't blow dry it well enough because I feel like the pieces were still too big so I'm just going to um, part it like how I normally would when I blow dry my hair with the um what's my favorite blow dry brush the Revlon brush yeah that so basically it's just gonna be small pieces I'm just going to clip this up. Look at this cute hair clip. I have it in a bunch of colors, but this one's just a black one since I'm wearing all black. Just keep the keep the vibe. And then this piece down here, I'm going to split it into two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on high heat and high air, <laughs> high speed, high speed. So high speed, high heat, and then first I'm going to stretch out the hair with this paddle brush um, just to help you tangle. Then I'm going to use this brush. And then I'm going to use this one inch brush to like smooth the hair. And the last time I blow dried my hair, like when I did it, it took me about 45 minutes, which 15 minutes longer than I take with my Revlon <laughs> blow dryer brush. It always takes me 30 minutes, but I mean, we're doing things like manually here. So I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm just going to turn it on. So that right there alone didn't take too long. That took like 25 seconds, but I did want to show, uh, show you guys the time just so you guys know how long it's been it was actually 210 like a minute ago but it is now 211 I'm jumping in now with this brush Okay, so this piece is pretty smooth and pretty straight, if you can see. It took me about two minutes to just do this one piece. So I'm just gonna keep going and 
I'll jump in here and there. So I can't say I'm having a way better turnout this time around than the first time. I have all these little baby hairs coming up. Um, it's just going by so much more smoothly and I feel like I'm actually smoothing out the hair a lot better than the first time. Okay, so there's my hair blow-dried. 
Of course, it's not like sleek straight because unfortunately I just can't do that on myself. But if um, I go to any hairstylist, they will definitely be able to get my hair sleek straight with just a blow dryer. I always go in with like a flat iron um, just to touch up the roots if they're a little bit kinky or just touch up the ends. But for the purposes of this video right now, I'm not going to do that uh, because the star of the show is this blow dryer and it took me, so it is now 3 o'clock, so it took me about 40 minutes to blow dry my hair, which only 5 minutes less than the last time, but um, so quicker because I got the hang of it a little bit better. I feel definitely feel like I need new brushes because these brushes are really old. So like this one that just didn't do the job, couldn't do the job as good. See, look, it's like broken. But now we're just going to get into the like curling wand. So let's test it out. So we have two because one goes left and one goes right. So that one is there. So this one goes right. So I'm going to curl this side with it. So let's just see. How do I want to do this? Let's put my hair up in parts or just part it. Okay. I'm going to go do this section first. And I'm going to do it on like low speed. Oh. So when I turned it on, this turned white. Okay, I turned it off because I clearly don't know what the heck I'm doing. I also think I took too big of a piece but it was doing it um let me try this again take a smaller piece clip this back Okay, so going like this did not work. Going like this definitely did work. So I want to try a different barrel because now it's facing the wrong way, but whatever. Okay, other piece. You just, that was freaking hot. That one was way more successful. Let me try my little side piece bang here. Well that works. Cool. I'm gonna keep doing my whole head. So the last couple pieces in the back, I did start just leaving it be without messing with it, like how I did in the front. Because once I started going to the back, I started seeing that like the front started frizzing up a little bit. Um, so I just started letting it be, but I'm going to just continue one to this side. And I'm going to switch out the barrel to the other one. So if I don't burn myself again. I'm
So no lie, as I'm doing this, and I did say I wasn't going to touch these, like doing that provided an extra like sleekness that I did not have on this side. Do you see this? Like this side looks frizzy, whereas this side just looks sleek and shiny. So definitely not touching it as you're doing it is the way to go. So like the back is already falling and it looks really pretty. So I'm just going to retouch like this whole front section. Like this part is good. But this whole front section I'm just going to redo. Not touch this part and then like, you know, put serum and stuff in it after. My god, this is awesome. Because now if that provides the sleekness without me having to use a flat iron, I will do this 100% all the time. Obsessed. Like, this side's already, like, sleek, too. And it looks so pretty. Like, I have volume. It's, like, sleek at the same time. I look like I just went to the salon. This is good. Let me get some oil and put it through my hair and see what happens. So I'm just going to use BioSilk Silk Therapy Light. This has been, like, an OG for me that I've used all the time like especially in my college days to put on my hair after a blowout so like kind of like a dime size amount just rub it all through my hands and i'm gonna start with this side first since it's already cooled down and i'm just doing this very very lightly oh it looks so good it oh my god that looks so nice why does my hair look, <laughs> look that good holy jesus okay other side let's see it's a cool down a little bit okay i'm not raking i'm kind of just like passing my hands through it oh my god like Why does my hair look this good? I'm just going to show you guys the back. But it looks so nice. It looks like I have extensions on. Like I have way more hair than I'm supposed to have. Okay, this was a really good turnout. Not expecting that. Oh my gosh. So it is safe to say that not only am I obsessed with this blow dryer as for curly hair and diffusing but I'm obsessed with this barrel and now I understand hype because you guys saw how I blow dried my hair straight and it was still frizzy not sleek and then after doing this it like sleeked it while giving me voluminous curls like this is insane I'm like really obsessed and surprised how it looks I wish I would have like done my middle part Let's see how it looks if I just turn it because I like my metal part better than my side part. Okay, now I'm giving like 70s vibes, so let me just put it back. But yeah, it just looks really, really good. Like, freaking obsessed. Well, that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this like first impressions type of thing. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Definitely get this blow dryer if you loved what you saw, especially if you have curly hair. The diffuser works great. You can find it at Sally Beauty. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!